bang. So you see the tee went away. Why, why is that important? Because I think that when we're swinging up, you clip the tee, there's a very good chance your tee is going to fly away. And, and when you're on a golf course and actually sticking one in the ground, I've seen them fly as much as 10 feet behind me or as well as 10 feet forward anywhere. So sometimes you got to go looking for them. But that's a good case of uh, making a good swing that you're swinging up to, uh, up to the tee finish by clipping the tee. Uh, and, and that makes sure you're swinging up and hitting the ball up into the air. All right, let's uh, look at today's blog. And this comes from the blog. And this comes from G-Key, K-E-Y. And uh, he says, and this is more like a, a comment, but he made, he made one big statement in there that, that just said, I, I, I need to talk about this. And it can make, it makes, it's going to make for a good subject here. And uh, he says, Serge, nailed it on the head talking about consistency. I personally am trying to be consistent. My friends commented on my swing as he has watched it develop over the last year. His comment was that he would like to hit the ball with the same kind of consistency that he sees from me hitting the ball now. He swears I will be a scratch golfer soon. I owe it all to the surge and the PPGS. You're welcome. I recently realized that I no longer aim my 5-iron out to the left because it will be fading into the target. That's what I want to talk about. Let me read it one more time and what is important about that. He, he says, I recently realized that I no longer aim my 5-iron out to the left because it will be fading to the target. I take dead aim when I address the ball now. I've had a few light bulb moments in the past year with the PPGS and I've managed to improve steadily. We may be the minority, but when it comes to hitting the ball consistently straight, this method is the ticket to success and enjoying the game more. Another of Serge Golden's Nuggets is talking about the importance of the short game. Fortunately, I have a yard where I can practice chipping. It all starts with the driver, but it ends with the work around the green and on the green. When I shoot the lowest scores, it's because my short game is good. Thanks, Serge, for your tireless support and dailies and appreciation, and appreciation. Cheers. Greg C. All right. Now, Greg, as I already stated, I want to talk about the point you made about not playing for your fate or whatever. I also want to start making this point by saying that you also said we may be in a minority. That is absolutely true. We are, in a, we are definitely in a minority, the, the very small minority, as far as... Uh, Swing in vertical with limited turn, because the only place you can ever find that is at swingsurgeon.com, and from what we teach and what what you're all are trying to do, and so uh, naturally I think life would become a lot easier for all of us if we could get if we could make our minority a lot bigger and hopefully get to be the majority and and make the real paradigm shift and and uh, I can't do that all myself, folks. I need your help. And as 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 Greg just said here, one of his friends that he's been playing with for a year now is seeing the results, and he used the word consistent. He's in, he's much more consistent. For the like nine years that I worked at uh, at Sea Pines as a director of instruction, Sea Pines in Harbor Town, uh, when we did our golf schools, we always had a little sheet. We signed up and they said, "What are you looking for from this school?" And I guarantee you, probably 95 to 95 percent of them, to 95 to 99 percent of them, all had some form of of one word: consistent. I want to be more consistent. I want to hit it more consistently. I want to I want to play more consistent. They like that word because consistent means what? You got your, your swing is pretty much the same, and and if you have a if you have the swing the same every time, which is consistent, you will play you'll hit the ball better and shoot lower scores consistently. All right, I've had so many people tell me all I want to do is just be able to keep the ball in place so that when we play we're not looking for my ball every hole. All right, and so those are what we're after, and 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 so that's the key here, and and so coming back to that sentence again, I take dead aim when I address the golf ball now. He used to aim to the left to play for a fade. Historically, whenever I see a fader, a person, or I should say, really slicing the ball, and I can see them aiming consistently to the left, say for a right-hander, I'll ask them, I said, uh, you're, lined up, you're lined up way to the left, you know. Oh, yeah, I know. I, I, I'm doing it on purpose. I said, well, why would you do that? Well, because I'm playing for the slice. That's the only way I can hit it to the target. I said, then I'll come back to him and I'll say, well, do you want a slice? And the answer is always, no, I'd like to hit it straight. Well, I said, if you play for the slice and you want to hit to the target, then you have to what? It has to slice. You cannot, you cannot if you hit it straight, it's not going anywhere near the target. So the first thing you can do is if, if, you're, if, you're, if you're playing for a flight pattern you don't want, then 
as long as you keep playing for it, you have to have it. If you don't want that slight, that flight pattern, don't play for it. And, and, start, and start taking Greg's advice and saying, I take dead aim when I address the ball now. Because what is the whole concept of, this, of, the, se of the surge set up and swing, the peak performance golf swing? We hit the ball relatively straight. Relatively straight means that it might have a soft draw or a soft cut, but in most cases that should not go any more than about five, move five yards. And so the important thing about taking dead aim is that, is that once you hit the ball relatively that straight, you just pretty much draw a straight line between you and your ball and where you want it to go. Now, years and years ago, they always used to say, well, you need to, you need to aim down like the, rough, the right rough line if you're right-handed and draw it to the middle, hook it to the middle, or aim down the left line and slice it to the middle, or fade it to the middle. They'll use that term because that means fade is more controlled than a slice and a draw is more controlled than a hook. But the key is uh, they said that term because it gives, you, it gives you the whole fairway to work with. Well, that still, to me, gives me a lot of margin of error. And I guess that would be good, but I, but, I, but I found out that once I learned to hit the ball straight, when I started figuring out this swing, I just aimed down the middle. And so instead of having a whole fairway, I get at least 50% on each side, and, a, and what's a relatively straight shot? I, I'm going to say the key to a relatively straight shot is, is when you're hitting the ball good, I'm going to use the camera as my target. If my ball starts on line and doesn't finish anything farther than 5, 7, or 10 yards max, right or left of my target, I got to be in play. I mean, even in the U.S. Open, fairway is about 22 to 25 yards wide, so that gives you that gives you 12 to 15 yards either side of center. So if if if, if you can line up fairly correctly, and 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 aim down the middle of the fairway and at the middle of the green, you you got to be hitting good shots if you're hitting it relatively straight where it doesn't move more than five to 10 yards at the max from where you started the ball. That's the definition of straight, and that's the definition of consistent, and that's the definition of helping yourself shoot lower scores because that'll be keeping your ball in play. So the key is, I'd say, learn to hit the, the search swing is, as Greg just said, he starts hitting it really straight, he aims it, he takes dead aim and hits laser beams. And so the whole key then becomes the big A, that you really work on making sure you're lined up parallel left if you're a right-hander, parallel right if you're a left-hander. And you get that alignment down and just take that and take the, the surge peak performance golf swing and hit it relatively straight. Then all you got to do is if you're carrying your bag, you just pick it up and walk right down the middle of the fairway or right to the green. Or you get in that cart and you drive right down to the middle of the fairway. Or if you go 90 degrees, get on the path and come back up, but you're coming back to the fairway, not riding to the woods. All right? So that's the important thing. Relatively straight is the key. And the key to hitting a relative straight is in the mitten up the tree, the three-quarter limited turn swing, the surge swing, the peak performance golf swing. All right, well, that's it for the surge for today on, on hitting, trying to hit it straight. You want to hit it straight, you got to play it to go straight. You can't play for big fades and cuts cause, and, and hooks because if you play for it, you got to have it, and that's what, that is not straight, and we all want to hit it straight. So take that aim, and you start hitting more consistently straight and shooting those lowest scores. That's it for the surge for today, and I'll be talking to you all again soon.